Hi, Boomer. Uh, oh, hello, Miss Catherine. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, everybody. I didn't see you come in. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Well, maybe you can help me. Okay. I, I'm trying to decide. I, I want to give a tie to my owner. It's, it's Father's Day, it and is. he is the best, and I don't know which one to give him. Well, hmm. Which one would make him look better? Well. I mean, he's already pretty handsome. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I think um, this one is really nice, but this one is more interesting. It's got Mickey Mouse. It's got cars. It's got puzzle pieces. You know, if especially if, if, if he's a fun kind of guy. Oh, yeah. I think he might like that one better. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And happy Father's Day. Yes, happy Father's Day. Yeah, that's really, really yeah. nice. You know, fathers are great. Yeah, well, I've heard that. Yeah, well, the fathers, my dad, he was a really, really good golfer. Yeah. And so Ooh, yeah. he had a little ball that he played with. He did. And then he would go get it. But he wouldn't bring it back. He wanted it to go in a little hole. Oh. So, anyway. Go and, figure. Well, some fathers are really good at building things. You know, They like, are? Yeah. Some, some fathers can fix things. And so some fathers are just really, really good at doing all kinds of wonderful things. Dads are awesome. Yes, they are. They can... Well, Ted, my husband... Yes. He, he, made, he made over our entire backyard. He built a deck and put a, a covering over it, I was just really impressed because he could build so much. Did it make your old yard look like a new one? It did. It was like a, a different one? It was like a complete makeover of our backyard. Oh, it really was. That is amazing. Yeah. Well, in our Bible story today, we talk about a makeover, sort of, that Jesus did. Well, I bet he was good at it. He was. He was a carpenter. Well, here, here's what happened. I bet he made decks all the time. He did. And a lot of other things. Desks, lot, tables, chairs. Or yes, a lot of things. But this didn't have anything to do with carpentry. This was a different kind of makeover. Because when he and his disciples arrived on the other side of the Sea of Galilee, this yes. man came up to him who had been crazy for a long time. Ooh. And he, he Sounds scary. Yes, he was homeless and he's, he's naked. Yeah, and, and he was really, really in a bad way. But the Jesus commanded the demons that were in him, causing him all this pain. Was that why he was being so, so crazy? crazy? Yeah, he was. The and demons were making him yeah. crazy. So Jesus commanded those demons to get out of that place. Get man. out, get out, and get it, out, demons, get out. Like that? Kind of. But there happened to be a herd of pigs nearby. And so pigs. he just told those demons to go to those pigs and get inside those pigs and get out of that man. And they did. They did? Yeah, they did. And the pigs went crazy. But wow. Yeah, so all the people. That explains a lot about <laughs> pigs. It does. Anyway, the people saw this, and when they came back to where Jesus and the man were, there was the man that they had seen in this crazy state for so long. Uh -huh. There was the man bathed and dressed and sitting quietly by Jesus. Totally a different guy. Wow. A complete makeover. Isn't that something? That is amazing. Yeah. And even more amazing is that Jesus is still doing makeovers today. You're kidding. Mm. Because when we invite Jesus to come into our hearts and our lives, we too have a complete makeover. <gasps> That's wonderful. Yeah, isn't it? Yes. I mean, our whole lives are going to be different because now Jesus is in our heart and our life. Yeah, like being a whole new person. It is. It really is. That's good. And that is something for we all should be very, very thankful yes, for. Yes, we should. So let's thank him right now. Can we thank for dads too? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Let's pray. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we do thank you so much for all of the wonderful fathers that we have and the men who act as fathers, who are there for us when we need them. Thank you so much for the gift of Jesus who comes into our lives and makes us over. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, you know, I know another uh, story about a complete makeover. What's that? Well, it didn't work out too well. Oh. We tried to put some lipstick on Agnetha the pig. Bad idea. Bad idea. She didn't like it at all. <laughs> mm. Bye. Bye. I, but what? I bet she really didn't. This has been a cat and dog production.